One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it <laughs> well you know what they say can't take it with you hmm. Hmm. and Aerith to boot huh that's another half a million on top <gasps> half a million <laughs> down here though we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what. But the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. Behave yourselves now. gotta be black robes around here somewhere, so how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, Low profile. Brittle houses in the sea air. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Where do you think we'll get licensed first? Make a bet? Brittle houses in the sea air. Under Junon's a fascinating little town. Their water, this beauty comes at a dangerously high price though. Anyway, if you know any other camera-worthy subjects, have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her. Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Priscilla's even managed oil, coal. Hey, you see that trio? Dave's Chocobo Express! 
I see that you've made your way to Under Junon. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. Are my trials not challenging enough? I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So know? many fascinating possibilities. Here you go. 
Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? So they got fishing gear too, huh? Hello, hello, hello! you forget a bad day like staring at Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOL. This town's ace angle, and I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience.
Get its attention. On it!
Let's check on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. God, she's so cold. We need to get her breathing again. Somebody! Help! God, she's so cold! Don't just stand there! Help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Uh. guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dum, 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 dum! <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Psst. Not to be that guy, but kids these days, I swear. How now? Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. We really need to shut What a relief this didn't turn out worse. are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry! Promise! Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Isn't the heroes of the hour. I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? I could feel them slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. 
It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? Cloud. <laughs> Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear your officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. But it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven, and I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl, especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? Rest up while you can. I'll let you know if anything happens. Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Don't worry, never thought you could. <laughs> I'll leave it all to you then. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. 
come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Hey. <laughs> okay, now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wu Tai's not to be trifled with! Mm. <sighs> Wu Tai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. Don't ninjas creep around in the dark, slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that! <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Come here. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town. Hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else? 
but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Hmm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? 